So this command um, gives you the capability to add um, properties to drawing borders or page borders um, that can then be updated in a table on a design by design basis uh, and can save you time and effort and just give you a little bit more control about all the variables. So um, I've got a format symbol here. So um, if you look at the design parameters of this at the design tab, this is a format type symbol and it allows me to come and just kind of place drawing borders and things like logos and stuff directly into the into the Cadence PCB tools. Um, and if I zoom in on the kind of the page border setting or the, 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 the page border, you can see I've got I've got a couple of these set already. So I've got like a drawn by, a checked by, an approved by. I've got date, rev detail. So I'll, I'll go, go through the process about how you add a, add a variable and then we'll update uh, in an actual board file. So if we go to the setup menu, custom variables and place, I get this kind of this default option over here where I can put in a variable and a variable name, uh, pick the layer that I want it to go on, size, etc. There's different types of, uh, of property we can add or variable we can add, custom variable. Um, and the basic principle is, is uh, if I wanted a, a drawing number, for example, so I'm going to do drawing underscore number, hit the tab key. It then gives me this placeholder using the same name. As long as it's got a placeholder, it doesn't really matter what, what this text is. So you can put any text you like. Uh, I'm just putting a place. So I'm just going to increase the size and then I'll specify that as drawing number. Um, and then I want a revision. So let's do a, a rev as well for revision. And maybe just decrease the size of that one. <sighs> So that's the basic principle about how you effectively add the variable name. So if I then save this uh, this drawing format symbol, and then if we go back to um, a board design. So standard PCB editor command, there's an update symbols command. Uh, so I just want to do another symbol. I want to update my, my drawing border. We'll just ignore the fixed property and we will refresh. If we close that and then we zoom in down here, you can see um, my drawing blank or border has been updated with these variables. So if I wanted to make changes to these, if I go to the setup and custom variables, there's an update command and then it gives me the capability to come through and, and fill in data here. So you can see I've got some of them are populated already. I've, I've already got some names in here. Maybe let's just set the date of that. That's, so that's uh, today's date. Uh, 24. My drawing number is going to be um, dot dash and we'll just put a few numbers. Uh, my rev detail is going to be initial issue um, and I'm happy with that. So I click OK and then we'll do a setup and custom variables uh, update and we'll actually update the variables, all of them. And then that physically populates. You can see those those values get populated here. Now there also is a, another form of variable we can add um, for things like the layer name, for example. So if you've got a drawing board like this and you want to have the maybe the different artwork films shown in this layer name location, um, there's a setup custom variables and we can do a place custom option here. But this time what we want to do is do something called group. So I'm just going to give the variable name, maybe called it uh, artwork. We'll leave all that as the same and I'll just increase the size. Uh, that's done and then if we go to the setup and the custom variables and we'll do the update command here so it says I need to specify this for the layer mapping so if we go to the layer mapping here so what I'm basically going to say is for layer one it's going to be on maybe the edge and the top We'll then add a row and we can put effectively layer two here. And again, this will be etch and layer two. So you work through the process and then when you've finished with this and you do an update all, that will then effectively add effectively the drawing name in there with the different artwork films.